How's it going, dudes? And welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I honestly don't remember where we left off. Also, there looks like there's a six on that throne. Anyways, let's uh, continue on. White clouds. Yeah, I'm still at part one. All right. I guess all I can do is explore. Would you like to explore the monastery? Wait, semester? Oh, I can't. Okay, so just I guess I have no choice but to explore. Really? <laughs> so this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. You probably weren't. Anything? Okay, I can examine Baltimore, which I'll do later. Who's this? These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Okay, then. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. Okay. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Uh, you gotta... Sometimes nobles are just... Uh. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. By improper... What exactly do you mean by improper conduct? Oh, was someone else here. Is he hurt? Oh, is that Elgard? Let's take Elgard from here. Okay. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Hey. Yes. Oh, they got a quest? Okay. Uh... You guys don't have a quest. Hey, Teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Maybe. Maybe. My professor level is E. Um, I think I'll talk... I'll talk to them in a little bit. For now, let's go see what Eligard wants. And it's an actual quest. Or it's something. But before that... Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. Who? I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. Oh, really? Not a chance. He has no chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. Maybe. Someday. Now who's Garita? Oh, it's this guy. I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Well, he's just a bundle of joy, isn't he? Alright, who's next? I think I... Um... This way? Anybody? Bulletin board? Okay. Listen. Let me tell you the provenance of our class name. The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. And who's in here? 
story. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Lug, the king of lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Maybe I will. There's someone else in here. Right, right. Now, oh, here they are. Before I came to the Officers Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Aww. There's someone right outside. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. Maybe I'll take her up on that offer. Golden Deer class. Oh, there we go. Hi, this is the Golden Deer House. You're in charge of a different class, right? Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Cool. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? I don't really Golden care. Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Well, the other two were far more interesting. Now, is there anyone, anybody else to talk to? Uh, Listen. What's this place? Oh, hello. The dining hall. Apparently it's gotta be all cinematic. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. But with sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. What is she, an Elcor? My ways of speak... Uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden. I hope you will have forgiveness. No worries. I know plenty of people who speak like that. Considering I'm half Korean. Sometimes my mom speaks like that. I'm not even joking about that either. I'm busy. Do you want something? I was hoping, we get, hoping to spar with you. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. In your dreams. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. That's not necessarily true. Oh, I can't share a meal? Is that all the dining hall is good for, is sharing a meal? You just can't eat? Um, where are we going? Oh. Uh, I think I'll do quests later. What? Yeah, I'll do quests later. What's this way? Alright, down the stairs we go. Is that a pond? Lake? What is that? Greenhouse and fishing pond. Owl. Okay. Let's go talk to that person right there. Whose name I can't make out. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. Okie dokie then. There's some cats and dogs. Dog. Alright. I can't pet the dog. And... Only person I can talk to is a neighbor one 
can't go this way. Which one of them is the one I can talk to? Not this one. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids, well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. So, no pressure. Let's go see what that, what's inside that greenhouse. Ooh, this makes the map a bit easier to read. Oh, the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. Is it? I could just forget all about my assignment. That's not good. That's not a good idea. Well, that then did did nothing. There's yeah, there's one in the greenhouse and outside the greenhouse. Who are you? Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. It there sure are so is. So many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. I never had much. You seem well informed on the subject. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. Cool. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Maybe it will. And I can't do any gardening. Who's, who's this? I'm a little busy. Okay. Oh, sorry. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. See it? Looks like a greenhouse. That's it. I'm a little busy. Oh. I regret not choosing the other choice. Alright, where to next? Um... There are a few more people to talk to up ahead. In in other places as well. <sighs> Wasn't I here earlier? Couldn't have it done it then. This makes no sense. All right, there are a bunch of people to talk to you. I'll talk to him later. Bernadette. I guess I'll have to. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. I doubt that. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. So did I. Um. I mean, he's got a quest. But everyone else is. I can talk to is. All the way up the other side. Right, right. Except for this person right here. Oh, Professor, have you adjusted to life at the academy yet? No. Hey, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Alright, how do I get. I guess I go through here. Or I can go through here. Or are people to talk to here. Dad, I believe it's the mess hall. Yeah, this is the mess hall. A dining hall, my bad. Everybody is in, I can talk to is all the way on the other side. Let's just use the map to navigate that way. Hi. Hi. Is this person on this side or the other side? Other side. All right. It's a night. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Good. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? Yeah, plenty of times. 
It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Is it? Hey, where am I going? Not this way. This way. Magical opening doors. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. All right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? No. Looking for someone? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Okay. There's a knight behind me. Indeed. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlin. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Okay. Um, two people to talk to here. Yes. I hear a member of House Fresvel, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officers' Academy for the first time in ages. Okay. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years ago. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. Interesting. Who's the person out here? Oh. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? Yes, I have. It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. You ought to get some rest. Please don't treat me like a child. I may be a bit younger than the others, but that really shouldn't factor in. So we get the second floor? Wait, the that's the same hair so. color. But I can't talk to him. Up second story we go. Alright, who's there to talk to up here? Oh. Rhea. Let's talk. Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Okay. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Thank you. Who's next? I guess we just go down here. And to the left. Who's here? Oh! The church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. Okay. Who's across the hall? No one right now. Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Has he? Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Probably. The who needs the other rooms? Infirmary. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? No. Don't 
worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you oh so very, very personally. Run away. Run away. Run. It's some kind of experimental apparatus. Apparently, there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating, yet also quite intriguing. Hmm. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. Come again? No. Perhaps some blood? A couple of drops on the device are all I need. I'm gonna go now. I think I'm only... Yeah, to the right. Apparently. Sorry, I have a little trouble reading this map sometimes. And then... In here. Oh, this is the library. Um... Professor. No, not him. Professor, Tomas. I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. Okay. I can use the library now. There's one other person. Say now. Whoever he is, is a monk. Tomas has served as the monastery's librarian for decades. Actually, he was away from Garrett Mock for a spell, but he returned to his post last year. There is no one as familiar with the monastery's archives as he is. Okay, I think that's everybody. So... Yeah, that looks like it's everybody. Time to return to... The... Let's just get back to the dormitory area. I'll see you guys there. Wow. Alright, let's see what... You gotta say. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea's quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. I uh, don't think this was warranted. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's see what quest you got. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. If I have to eat in that filthy dining hall, I prefer to invite a cute girl to dine with dine with me. Beforehand, I'll find out her favorite food so I can order them. She's happy, I'm happy. I haven't missed a move. Pretty great, huh? Try sharing a meal with others in the dining hall. You can even treat someone to their favorite meal. Talk to the dining staff for details. Alright, let's do it. Let's head to the dining hall, shall we? Alright, at the dining hall, let's talk to the dining staff. Today's, today's special. What's that? Spaghetti and cream. Hmm. Uh, oh, you gotta have the actual materials to do it. Unlike just doing today's special. I know that's Hagheart and Cream. Wait, why does she go down, but she's still happy? Weird. Hmm. That is weird. It goes down, but she's still happy. Or is that just how they how they are? Let's go with Edelgard and Bernadette. Yes. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Thank you. Bonds among three of you grew stronger. The two you invited are more motivated. Cool. 
Ooh, I need my professor level even leveled up. Doesn't look like it changed much. I can now t have more points in exploration. Monthly funds for activities have, have increased as well. Cool. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Is the bell the fire emblem thing? All right, let's go see some other quests. All right, Dimitri, have I talked to you? I don't think I did. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at. Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. Good. Uh, I like Dimitri. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. Thank you. What quest do you I have? I have a request. There's a dish I would like to make, but I need more of a certain vegetable to do so. I was planning to grow it from seeds in the greenhouse, but if you'd like to help, grow plants in the greenhouse. Take the do's. Seeds. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Exit. To the greenhouse. Wait, what's the fastest? I was just straight down. Anyways, to the greenhouse. Alright. What do I do here? Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Plant. Oh. To do seed, plant it, cultivate. Um, hmm. Actually, no. I don't want to spend any money right now. Can I, I can't harvest. My thing. Anyway. Okay. Let's go see what other quests there are. There's one nearby. All right. There should be one right here. Ah, here she is. Hello there, Professor. Hello. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. That's a shame. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. I will be happy to have you. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Oh. What's a quest? Could you help me with a favor? There's a ceremony related to say I cannot pronounce that that requires rare fish. Would you mind helping me obtain some professor? You can fish by speaking with the fish keeper at the pond fishing pond. Let's do it. It's right down here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Let's fish. Okay. Uh huh. Probably should have read that, but let's get right into it. Oh. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, I think I can just now. That was easy. Is that what she wanted? Okay, I guess we return to her now. Uh, of course we return. It says it's recorded in. You have helped me so much. You're welcome. Uh, let's go talk to Edelgard. That's yeah, let's go talk to Edelgard. All right, here we are. I don't think I talked to the guy next door. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. Will do. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Good advice. That actually is very sound Some advice. I believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? That would be great if it lets me. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. No. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Alright. 
Mm, facilities. The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the officer's academy is welcome to make use of. For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. Hmm. I suggest visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students, faculty, and various workers here. All right. Bulletin Have you boards. noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. Hmm. The bulletin board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. Alright. Partial that first. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. Good to know. Alright. A great deal is expected from professors of the Officers Academy, so it's important to hone your skills. To put it plainly, you'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. Alright. Probably should have talked to Edelgard first, and then went on my merry way. Anyways, let's finish today. Wrong button. Finish off exploring. Ooh. What's today? It's Ferdinand's birthday. Yes. Much appreciated. You are welcome. Oh wait, it's the mock battle now, isn't it? Well, I guess I'll save that for the next video. If you do enjoy it, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video.